and we are rolling up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the pinky. And the thumb. And to the wrist. Up to the knuckles and across. And we're back to fingers, index, and thumb. Middle finger. Ring finger. And pinky. On the hand, index, middle, rim, pinky. First of all, in the air, or bounce it on the floor, or do both. And put the ball on the floor. Assess how the feet feel and step on the ball right in the middle of the foot, pressing down three times. Up to the knuckles, once on each. Roll across the knuckles. Roll across the top of the heel. Bring the ball to the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Press the toes into the ball. Raise and separate. Press again. Wiggle again and scribble. Three, two, one, release, reassess, repeat on the other foot three times in the middle. Narcos. Roll across. Top of the heel. Middle of the foot and wiggle. Press. Raise and separate. Press. Wiggle. And scribble. Three, two, one. Get the ball out of the way. Reassess how the feet feel. And shake the tree. Three, two, one, center. 
Twist the joints, swing the arms. And center. We're going to do the earth grounding exercise, shifting weight from one channel to the other as the hands move up and down the front of the spine. Coming up on the toes, back down on the heel. And gradually expanding. And let's take some steps forward. And then knee towards the opposite elbow. Wrap the opposite heel in the front. And I'm behind. And take a cross step with a twist and a punch. And then walk, or march, or jog. I'm going to do some isometrics today. A low squat, stationary low squat, but uh, you might want to do squats. I'm going to run myself. Whatever you do, be safe. I got a one of the cats into a bag to go to the vet, so I think I'll skip the after class here. And that'll be an exercise. Moxie does not like to be put into a carrier. So, I'm going to get going in five, four, Three, two, one, two. Ten. Twenty.
And 30, take two breaths. Interlace the fingers, bring the hands up. Reach up, come up on your toes if you can. Come on back down, bend back if you can. Uh, to center, drop one hand, lean in that direction. Back to center, go the other way. Interlace the fingers above the head again, bring the hands down, press out at the chest. Come on down, interlace the fingers behind the back. Raise the hands up and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Come on up a little higher. And come on down and shrug. Put the fingertips on the shoulders and roll the elbows forward. And backwards. Extend the arms, tap the shoulders. Bring one arm across, press in. Then the other. First arm behind the back, first down and in. And then the other. Form a T, squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. Release. Squeeze. Release and squeeze. Release, grabbing both elbows, rock side to side. Put your fists on your temples, bring the elbows forward and back. Come on down and rotate the neck. Go the other way. Nod. And go in the shoulder.
Come to center, bring one hand over the top of the head, cup the ear, look up, chin up, eyes out of the corner, looking at the ceiling as you tug jet. And then bring the chin down, continue to tug. Same thing the other way, looking up. And down. Come to center, tuck in the chin and peck. Like a bit. All right, let's grab a stick. I'm going to put it inside the arch of one foot. Oh, the foot is out to the side. Slide down. Stretch the adductors. Same thing the other way. Come on. Up, put one foot forward, put the stick behind it, slide down the stick, lift the heel, uh, lift the sole, and wiggle on the heel if you can. And then press the sole of the foot against the stick. Same thing the other way, put out, slide down, wiggle. And then press. All right, we're going to do the EFI toning bar. I should have done yesterday. Got a lot of sequence here. Parallel to the spine. One hand on top, one hand on the bottom, up and down. And then reverse. Maybe I'm not out of sequence. I don't know. Seems like we just did this, didn't we? Then overhead. And then up to the shoulders and bicep curls. Leave it below the waist, reverse the grip. Into the waist, bend the knees, come down, bring the stick down and up. Lifting with the legs and glutes. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Hinge again, come down, stay down, lift the elbows past the rib cage. Come on up. Lift the stick from the shoulders and above the head and back. And then stick is below the waist. Lift the elbows up to shoulder height. Keep it at the shoulders and push out. And then bring it around the back, hands facing out, palms facing out, lift behind. Reverse the position of the palms and repeat. Bring it up to the crook of the elbows and twist it to waist. Stick to one side, one hand at the top or near it. Swing behind. And then the other. And then bring the stick to the middle, hold on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two at the top. Up on your toes, back on your heels, second on each, rock and roll for about 20. All right, and let's uh, put the stick down. We're going to put the fists underneath the chin. Tongue on the roof of the mouth, press down. And release. All right, grab a chair to hold on to as you do the low squat. You can be beside it or behind it with both hands. 
Um, hold on, go as slow as you can. If it's here, that's fine. I'm going to go down and hold for 20. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Come on up. We're going to do leg extension curls. You can do it either on the floor or in the chair. I'll do it in the chair today. Um, you got one ankle crossed in front of the other, and you're pushing up with the bottom foot as you're resisting with the top foot. And then press down with the top foot, resist with the bottom. You can also do it on the floor on your back. And then switch the position of the feet and repeat. And then we do have to get on the floor. We're going to do a plank. You put your forearms on the floor. You can do it from your knees, engage the core, or you can come up on your toes. We'll do it for 15. And come on down. All right, let's stand up. We want to grab a cloth or a strap or a belt or something to put in the hands. We're going to put both fists together below the waist and come up, pulling in either direction as we do to just above the forehead. And then back down. And go over to the left hip, reverse the position of your right palm. So it's facing up and pull up towards your right shoulder, resisting with your left hand. And then the left hand finally wins and pulls back down as the right hand resists. Reverse the position of the hands, go over to the right hip and pull to the left shoulder. And back down. All right, you can put the belt down or strap down. Prayer position, push in. And palms on top of each other, grab your fingers and pull. Go the other way. And then pop the biceps.
All right, come on down, check it out. We're going to do uh, the physiological sigh. It's a nice big inhale through the nose, almost filling the chest. Then take one more, and then a nice big sigh through the mouth to let it out. Let's do eight. Here we go. Rub those hands together with all the great cheese on the cheese ball. Let it move you around. And center of two breaths. Let's open our hearts. Pause here, let's exhale and send it out. And center, two breaths. Bringing down chi from above. And gather from below. Uh, <laughs> Namaste. Thank you, Tom. Well, you're welcome, Mira. Have a great day. Where did my Thanks, Tom. Have a great day. I shall indeed. <laughs> there you are. Anime. <laughs> See care. you later. And for anybody watching on video who wants to do the yin yoga, um, just look on um, Fridays uh, or last Tuesdays. Uh, and I'm off to capture a cat. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.